work hard so the big checks don't stop. Tell them boys gotta keep working the street to get them props. Tell them boys to run this Glock is not a prop. East Coast, West Coast, worldwide, recognize Southside. is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring the WWE champion from West Newbury, Massachusetts weighing in at 248 pounds John Cena Fell off, I'm still hot, knock your shell off My money stacked fat, plus I can't turn the swell off The franchise doing big business I live this, it's automatic, I win this So you hear those hoods, you finish A soldier, and I stay under you fighting Plus I'm storming on you chumps like I'm thunder and lightning Ain't no way you're breaking me, kid I'm hard to nail Plus I keep it on lock like I'm part of the jail I'm slaughtering stale competition I got the whole block mission They can run with my division, but they go on fishing Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm Michael Cole, this is JB Allen, and we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. The Rose City's gonna get its face rocked tonight, and I, for one, can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. It's been a long time since I saw a crowd get behind a superstar the way they have for John Cena. Yeah, and that's great for him. But this is a match, not a popularity contest. I don't think Cena's got any problem being physical either. There aren't many superstars who can match his accomplishments. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Orton's never backed down from a fight. His mouth might get him in trouble, but he's always... He's three seconds away One, from victory. Two. There's the reversal. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are... I saw some pretty dangerous stuff under that ring earlier. Oh my God, what a chair shot. Yeah, and that doesn't tickle, believe me. think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he's using it for, and that's all that matters. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long rivalry. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know you're coming up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. <laughs> These superstars. And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. Who cares what they think? All he's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. It sounds like this is just dumb. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree. Getting the crowd on your... He may get the three count right here. <coughs> Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. Oh, I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this 
anywhere else. And that's because here it is. He's building up ahead of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. Look at this. Hey, you got to be careful when you're going up there. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. And for a lot of guys, their WWE career is their life. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. Cena spends a lot of time running his mouth. If I were him, I'd put that energy into improving my ring skills. Cena's a multiple-time WWE Champion. How much more improvement do you really need? He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure he can spare it? <coughs> I love hearing a crowd come alive, even if I disagree with what they're... Talk about adding insult to injury. And these fans love it. Yeah, but you gotta worry more about the injury and less about the insult until the match is over. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you got that kind of hop, it's tough to live up to expectation, but these superstars aren't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. Look at him, he's just radiating confidence. And he's got a lot to be confident about. He looks a little over. I think we know where he's going with this. Here it comes, the FU! He just threw his opponent straight into the ground! Look at this, no fear on the face of this superstar. Yeah, but that kind of thing's not gonna win you the match. A lot of people think that Randy Orton's just an overhyped pretty boy, but I respect his accomplishments. What, you mean like turning on the people who supported him and stabbing them in the back? No, I think he's gonna fly. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay. That's the way to do it. Grab a weapon from under the ring and start swinging. You're not going to last long if you keep getting hit by that. You sure aren't. I don't care how tough you are. It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better oh. broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up. And you're going to find out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your jaw wired shut. <laughs> night after night, the WWE superstars never <laughs> fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. <laughs> well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. I cannot remember the last time I've seen a crowd this pumped up. I know what you mean, Parker. These superstars have really brought the fans to life here tonight. Oh. These superstars have proven time and again that they're willing Ugh. and able to go the distance. Well, you don't get too far in this business if you're not. That's for sure, partner. There's always someone right behind you. Ready to overtake you if you can't keep up. Nice reversal. Uh. 
I don't think there's a superstar in the history of WWE who's gone from rookie to WWE champion as quickly as John Cena has. The adrenaline is pumping. <clears throat> the crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love it. That isn't going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. Randy Orton has it all. A great look, fantastic charisma, and three generations of experience in the business. And not to mention an ego that won't quit. A lot of the superstars around here would love to take him down a bit. Uh. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're